Hey Sunshines, it's Christy and welcome back to my channel. So my dad was in town last week. I didn't film very much at all. I kind of stepped back, took a week off, and this video is gonna be a little chatty because quite honestly, I just missed you guys and I'm happy to be back. It looks like Milo's taking a little snooze and gonna hang out with us. One of my sweet subscribers sent a couple of toys in a birthday box they sent for me. That was in my last live last Monday. You know who you are and he is loving those toys. Thank you so much. I am gonna acknowledge this picture I actually bought this picture to go in my sunroom and then didn't like it I back I actually bought a small boxwood wreath to stick on the top of it right like hold on right there and um, I just didn't like it in that area and before I returned it I thought I've been looking for a picture to go there and it still has the little paper corners that protect the art you know when you buy it and I hung it on the wall and decided to live with it for four or five days and I think I decided that I'm gonna keep it that I need to take the, the little cardboard pieces off of the corners. Do you guys do that? Do you buy something for your house and kind of have to live with it for you know four or five days or a week to make sure that you like it? Anyway, that's what I'm doing. I actually am sort of inspired now to finish this bedroom. There's a wall over here that needs some art and a few things. So I'm thinking about doing a challenge where I take $200 and finish my bedroom. Would you guys want to see a video like that? I'm not sure. I've never done anything like that before, but I thought it might be fun. Anyway, so let's go ahead and get to the box at hand. This is my Natalie Attired box for the month of July. Now, Natalie Attired is a clothing subscription box. I get mine every month, but you can get it as often or not as you want. A lot of people will just order it every quarter to sort of do like a seasonal refresh of their wardrobe, which I think is a great idea. And you get five pieces of clothing. What I really like about Natalie Attired is they're a little bit more size inclusive than some of the other subscriptions. This one actually carries sizes from two to 22. And I love the restructuring of their pricing. So right now, if you buy one or more pieces, you do get that $20 styling fee credited back to your account. If you buy three or four pieces of clothing, you actually get a 20% discount. And if you buy all five, you get a 30% discount, which is great. So let's go ahead and take a peek and see what's inside. I will say this top that I have on was for my last Natalie attack box and it is the absolute favorite thing in my wardrobe right now it is so hot here it's in the mid 90s every day and even if you're out running errands just going from the air conditioning to the car you are sweating this material on this top I will put the information on it down below is nice and thin it's got this cute little pin tuck detail the floral pattern on it is so pretty but it's the nicest coolest shirt sometimes I don't update you on clothing but this shirt I'm telling you if it's in the dirty clothes I've been known to actually pull it out don't everybody ooh it's okay you've all done it before <laughs> and wear it because I just love it all right so hopefully I'm gonna find an equally exciting piece in here so let's take a peek oh there's a gift it says celebrating you I don't know what that's about. Let's go ahead and take a peek. My stylist is Renee and it says, Hi Chrissy, I chose two maxis, a pair of shorts and a top to go with. I also chose a top that I thought would look great with your hair and eye color. We're celebrating our anniversary all month long with a gift in every collection. For you, I chose a pair of earrings to go with the mint Chris and Carol Cardi that you kept in a previous collection. And that was the one that I actually um, lovingly call my commode again. Um, I love that one. I will actually show you in the try on and maybe I'll try it on with this piece of clothing. So thank you, Renee, for thinking of that. I love it. Okay, so that's really fun. Matter of fact, we should just open it, right? So I guess this month you get a free gift if you order Natalie Attired. So I'm gonna go ahead and leave my link below if you wanna try it. Sounds like it's the perfect month to do that. I will also link every piece of clothing that they put in this box. So if you wanna request something, you're able to do that. Oh my gosh, these are beautiful. Okay, these are by um, a company called Influence. I have to say, I have never received any of their accessories, but you can get accessories in your box if you request them. And I saw some in a giveaway that they did with my channel and the accessories were beautiful and look at these those are gorgeous they're the exact color of that commode again that I have so I'll definitely try those on for you those are beautiful thank you Renee I love them all right so let's go ahead and take a peek I'm gonna open it up you do get an envelope to send back anything you don't like or don't want. I will say if you need to make an exchange, all you have to do is email them and say, hey, I got this top, I really like it, but I feel like I need to size up or size down or whatever. And if they have it in stock, they will send it to you right away. And then I have my little pricing sheet here. 
And let's go ahead ooh, and look. Okay, so the first thing in here, oh my gosh, it's a green maxi dress. This one looks very similar, unfortunately, to the one that I just got from Natalie Attired. It's the same color. It's a different brand though, although this one has sleeves, which I like, and this one's sort of a wrap style. Ooh, I like this. I would buy two green dresses. I totally would if I would wear them to different spots. So I really like that. This is by Rococo and it's $64. So the price is actually right um, for a maxi dress like that. Okay, the next little item in here is just, ooh, this is cute too. This is by Always and Forever. This is just a little simple white sleeveless top. Perfect. Love to put these on with like jean shorts. You could put these under blazers or cardigans in the fall. Our fall, I know different people are in different times, parts of the country where you are. So maybe this one wouldn't be something you'd wear in the fall, but here in the South, we can wear a lightweight cardigan and get away with a sleeveless top under it. So that would be perfect to transition into fall for me. It does have this little lined pattern sort of in it in the material. Hope it's coming across. I like this a lot. So this is by Always and Forever and it is $39. Like that. All right, the next thing in here is, um, I think I own these shorts. <laughs> they sent these shorts to me last year. They're by Tribal Jeans. They're actually in my closet. Um, and I love them, but I bought them last year. That's so funny, but they have the palm leaf print. I'll actually pull them out and show them to you. That's hysterical. So I have these shorts and I love them. I just don't think they remember that they sent them to me. Not a problem. All right, the next little top is this brilliant bright blue color by Naked Zebra. And this is $42. I love this bright blue color. It's beautiful. I will say this material is kind of that silky material, almost like polyester. I'm gonna look. This says, yeah, it's 100% polyester, which honestly in the South can be just too hot, although it is sleeveless, so that may be its saving grace. It is pretty, I love the color. Typically, if it's a long sleeve polyester, I will just sweat in it. I feel like it's just not breathable, but because this one is, um, a tank I think I may like it or sleepless tops so that's really pretty and then the last thing I received was this dress by Chris and Carol and it is a mini a midi dress for $49 and this is actually really cute it looks like this little v-neck and it's got a tie and that is the material all right, so I'm excited about that. I really like some of the pieces that they sent. Um, the shorts I'm not mad about because I, I did like them. They're totally my style. So let's go ahead and do a try on and I'll be right back, okay? Okay, so outfit number one is this beautiful green maxi dress. I love the little split sleeves. They add a little movement and femininity to the dress. I think the neckline is really pretty. It is a true wrap dress but the wrap actually goes all the way to like here so if this were to fly open you're not going to flash anybody which is nice the length of it is pretty long i'm on my tiptoes so i definitely would have to wear wedges with this i may even consider getting this hemmed just a tiny bit but i think it's really pretty now i'm going to show you the other green dress that i just bought this is the one i got from stitch fix i absolutely love this dress too it's green with sort of a white floral pattern, but this one's got a little bit of a different neckline. I feel like I would wear this dress to like date night or maybe to a girl's night out, where this dress I would wear more to like volunteering opportunities, maybe meetings at the kids' schools, church for sure. So I feel like these dresses I would not be wearing in the same type of lifestyle activities. Do you know what I mean? So I don't mind to have two dresses that are similar. I think I'm gonna keep this one. I think it's really pretty. It's so light. I love it. All right, so I absolutely love outfit number two. First of all, let's talk about this top. This is the perfect basic layering top that's gonna to go with so many things in your closet. It's got a great cut. I actually did a front tuck, but this is sort of what it looks like. Now I will say it's a tiny bit thin. It's hard to find white tops that aren't, but it's not super see-through. I'm just doing a little front tuck with it. I feel like it's flattering. 
I also feel like the neckline is not too low. It doesn't show cleavage. It's got a couple of little buttons here, which just sort of add to the character. And it's cut high under the arm, which I really like too. So just wear it, pairing it with like a little pair of camo shorts. These are actually have palm leaves on them, are adorable. But I also wanted to show you how else you could wear this shirt. So this is a little top by Chris and Carol I received from Natalie Attired in the spring. The um, stylist actually called this a cardigan and um, on the tag it said kimono. So I just lovingly call it my commodigan now. But you can take just a simple sleeveless top like this in the summer, but you can also add this with a long sleeve cardigan when it doesn't get hot or even with a blazer if it's just not hot enough to wear two layers of long sleeves and you just wanna be able to put on a tank top. This top you can dress up or down and I think it's adorable. And here are the earrings that she sent to go with that. So, so cute, I love it. So this top is a definite yes, I really like it. And then of course I love these shorts, but here are the ones from last year. It does seem like the pattern may be a little bit different. These maybe have some palm trees on them where these are more sort of palm leaves. So this is probably the updated version of these. I'm sure they did great for uh, Tribal and they know that I love Olive over at Natalie Attired. So I'm actually not upset that they sent them. You guys, these are great shorts. They're probably one of the pair of shorts that are the shortest that I own, but I really like them. They stretch a lot and I would highly recommend them, but obviously I'm not going to keep these because I already have them. All right, so let's see what else is in the box. All right, just for sake of ease, I left the shorts on but I would not wear these items together. I have to say that because somebody in the comments will say, well, I would never wear that together. Well, neither would I. But again, just for ease of try on, I left the shorts on. This top is interesting. So it's got this sort of silky fabric and then it's got these like buttons that are almost like bridesmaid covered buttons. And then it's got this tie at the bottom. There's a lot going on with the shirt. The color is swoon worthy. Like I want something in this color so bad, but I just don't think this is my shirt. Between the silky material and the covered buttons and the tie, I think it's just a little bit too much. If they would have just done the buttons or just done the tie, maybe, but I definitely think I'm gonna pass on this one. I think it's cute, but it's just not a Christy top. And now all I think I have left is maybe that other blue maxi, so stay tuned. All right, and then the fifth piece that I got was this blue maxi dress. Now, I will say it's funny that I got a green maxi dress and a blue maxi dress in my Stitch Fix box, which that box was totally all maxi dresses. I have been requesting these type of dresses because I have a couple of girls trips coming up, some things that I'm going to this summer, and they're just really easy to pack, but you look really put together. Um, I didn't like the navy dress in either box, but I loved the green dress in both boxes. I'm not really sure why. I feel like this neckline is sort of a thing this year. It's not really a V and it's not really a scoop. It's sort of this rounded, deep, scoop neck i don't think it's very flattering on me it probably is flattering on a lot of people but i don't really like it i like sort of a true v so that's sort of one knock against it and then it's got this like boob shelf bow i don't know the the tie goes right under my boobs and because i'm so long waisted i just don't like it it feels uncomfortable it feels like it's in a weird spot so that's number two, and then I, for some reason the length is off. They're calling it a midi dress, but it comes to the top of my ankle. I would want it to be either a few inches higher or a few inches lower. It feels like it's not a midi and not a maxi at the same time, and I'm not really a fan of the print, although I love navy blue. So I think this dress is cute. It's just not a dress that I feel like I love. So I am going to pass on this one. I will say before I go into my recap, please go ahead and hit that subscription button if you are new. I'm so glad you're here and give this video a thumbs up and stay tuned and I will tell you my final thoughts. Okay, I am back for the recap. I just wanna say, because I didn't post many videos last week, the boxes are piling up. I have tons of new content, fun boxes to share with you. So definitely make sure you have hit that notification bell so you see when I post a new video. And let's go ahead and talk about what I'm keeping and not. I think the navy blue dress is not a surprise. I just didn't love it. So that is a no. I'm actually really excited to be able to keep the earrings. And again, you guys, order a box this month. If you get a little free gift on top of it, I feel like this is the month to try not attired if you haven't perfect piece for your wardrobe again I feel like under a blazer under a cardigan or just plain 
In the summer, this is the perfect top. I'm actually gonna see if they have this in black and maybe request it for my next box if they do. I love that little top. I did just buy a green maxi dress with white flowers all over it, but I think I'm gonna keep this one. They're different enough that I will not wear them to the same events. This one I feel like I would wear more to like church or maybe the kids' school activities, where the other one I feel like I would wear more for date nights or girls' night outs or beach trips. So I don't think they're gonna be worn in the same settings. So I am gonna go ahead and keep this one. And then last but not least, I'm not gonna keep the shorts because I own them. I'm totally not upset that she sent them. I know Renee has probably a thousand people that she is styling, um, but she totally knew my style because I would have kept them if I didn't have them. And I'm saying, if you don't have these shorts, you guys, they have the best stretch to them and they're so cute with this palm leaf print on them. Adorable. All right, so don't forget to hit that notification bell. Give this video a thumbs up and I'll see you again for a future video. Bye-bye guys.